Can you guys uh, see my screen? Yeah. All right. Yes. So today <clears throat> is the first day of our five-day meditation challenge. Now, usually I get very bored with the same meditation. That's why I thought of introducing one new every day. And each meditation has a different effect. And we are going to explore the effect of those meditations. So today we are going to do... Okay, this is the divine invocation. We are going to come back to that later. So today we are going to do the Om Mani Padme Hum meditation. I'll give you a little bit of background so that it motivates you to do this. It's one of my favorite, 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 favorite meditations. So... The word Om Mani Padme Hum is Sanskrit and there is a Tibetan version of that also. It's called Om Mani Peme Hum or sometimes it can also be pronounced as Hum. So what does that word mean? Any guesses? Hmm. I, I think I used to know. I, I don't remember anymore. Oops. Something about peace. It brings peace, but the mantra itself doesn't contain the word peace. That reminds me of like hand and feet, money, pad me, <laughs> but it <laughs> no. might not be. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. So uh, this diagram that you see on the left, it is taken from Grandmaster Chowakok Sui's book. Wait, light is falling. <laughs> um, there is a separate book on this called Om Mani Padme Hum Meditation by Grandmaster Chowakok Sui. So this image is taken from that. This is that is for pranic healers. But I'm not going to do the pranic healing way of doing this chanting. We are going to do the simple chanting. So the Om Mani Padme Hum mantra chanting is to bring tremendous amount of love, mercy, and compassion. The word Om is Om, which is the default vibration of this universe. The actual meaning of the word Om is I am. That is what the word Om means. It means I exist. The word Mani is a Sanskrit word of gem. So this blue color globule that you see on the right side in this image this gem is located in your pineal gland so this is the gem that is being referred in the mantra the word padme means lotus in sanskrit this image that you see here is representative of the lotus and what do you think the lotus is any hints any guesses Kind of to me, it sort of signifies kind of un unfoldment, opening up, expansion of what of our Buddhahood, if you like. Okay, what else? So, the word Padme, the lotus, is referring to the crown chakra. Because the crown chakra has thousand petals and it looks like a pet, uh, lotus when it opens from top. And it becomes golden in color when it opens. That's why you see the gold color here. The word whom is more like so be it. It is like signing the deal. It's like sealing the contract. It's like setting the intention to the universe that this is what I want. So if you have to decipher that entire mantra, it means I am the gem in the lotus. And it is basically invoking your higher self because the pineal gland is the terminal to the higher self. The higher self communicates with you through the pineal gland. So you are trying to embody the higher self in the pineal gland. You're invoking the higher self by saying that I am the gem in the lotus, so be it. I am the gem in the lotus, so be it. So this is what the mantra means. And I'll go a little bit about the benefits. I don't have to share the screen for that. So what do you think the benefits could be when we are 
chanting this mantra any guesses stillness balance peace connection all of that perfect so it brings tremendous amount of divine energy through the crown into your body and if you are having a stressful day or if you don't feel good this chanting of this mantra even if you chant it for seven times which hardly takes like two to three minutes it completely resets your emotion to zero it's like irrespective of how you are feeling you just can't remain like stressed or in a negative state of being after chanting this mantra this is the power of the mantra it is it resets your state of being to a very peaceful like a very calm as if you are just floating like a leaf on still water that kind of calmness so that is the immediate effect of this meditation but there are more effects of this meditation if you do it regularly first of all it is opening your crown chakra the crown chakra is the most important part of your um spiritual development if you really want to develop spiritually the crown has to open so what are the functions of the crown the crown is the, a very lesser known function of the crown is it creates compassion for strangers unlike the heart chakra which is creates compassion for people you love and you know the crown is compassion for strangers so when the heart opens the crown also opens and also wisdom intelligence so if you are doing this mantra chanting on a very regular basis it increases your intelligence actually it is very good for children especially growing children because it increases their intelligence levels which reflects in their results in their studies and growth mental growth the meditation also has a wish fulfilling effect it fulfills your wish if you do it very often this is also a very lesser known uh, property of this meditation it obviously heals the emotion it actually cleanses your entire aura when you are doing it so when i do it i usually don't stick to the seven chantings i usually do more than seven times because uh, like i just love it it's one of my favorite meditations so yeah those are the benefits of doing these meditations anything that you want to ask i i heard that sanskrit language is very powerful in its own right because it, it's not just kind of like sounds to separate to make words it's kind of like each each letter has power behind it yeah so the sanskrit intonations like they are on a different level say for example the word money is actually pronounced as mani mani is the right pronunciation in sanskrit but not not many people can pronounce it so we stick to the regular intonations but all the indian languages have originated from sanskrit So yeah, let's get started. Let's do the divine invocation first. I'll share the screen. Let's put our hand in front of our chest in the Namaste Mudra, like this. you can silently say it or you can repeat after me we are god universe all that is source we are archangels my spirit guides i thank you for your divine blessings for your divine protection for your divine love for your divine light for your divine power to enlighten me and to assist me in my daily activities 
thank you again for your divine guidance, for your divine blessings, for your divine protection. I thank you in full faith. So be it, so be it, so be it. So now we are going to close our eyes and chant the mantra together. I'm going to definitely chant for more than seven times because I just enjoy it. I just love it. So relax your body. Take a few deep breaths. And if you're on mute, make sure you chant the mantra and don't say silently in your head. It is important that you hear the chantings. Just one second. So let's get, are you guys uh, on, one sec, okay. So you can either chant with me or you can simply repeat after me, whatever you prefer. Take deep breaths, close your eyes. Focus on your heart chakra. Now on your crown chakra. If you have difficulty focusing, you can touch your heart, which is in the center of your chest. Or touch your crown, which is at the center of your head. Focus on the heart and the crown chakra simultaneously. And repeat after me. Oh. Mani. Bad me who Repeat after me. Focus on your chest. Focus on your heart. Focus on your crown. Oh, my. Focus on your heart chakra, focus on your crown chakra, repeat after me. Oh, my God, me.
Focus on your chakra. Focus on your crown chakra. Oh. Mommy. Five me. Focus on your heart chakra and then focus on your crown and repeat after me. Gently return to your body. Gently open your eyes. Gently when you are ready. Open your eyes. Thank 
How are you feeling, friend? I could really feel the uh, the peace and the energy exactly. coming in. Yeah, powerful. Very peaceful. It's like I'm not even here. I don't even feel like talking after doing this meditation. Seriously, I don't feel like talking. It's like hmm. deep. It's like I'm deep inside. Did you guys chant it or were you like simply listening to it? I didn't see. Oh, I was chanting after you. Yeah. yeah, me too. I was softly chanting after you. Yeah, the effect is very powerful after you chant because you need to hear it in your own voice. That is what creates the effect. So tomorrow in our heart chakra meditation, we are going to do the same. It's important that your brain hears your own voice. It has an effect on you. So more than you hear Yeah, words are very else. powerful, right? Yeah. You have sometimes you get them um, put into the material world, you know, here the this physical <laughs> expression. Yeah. yeah. Where we are experiencing. So it's a beautiful meditation. It's my favorite meditation. It brings so much peace, so much love, so much bliss. If you don't have much time during the day, you can just chant it seven times any time during the day. So this will completely reset your emotions back to zero. The key is that you focus on your heart when you whenever you're chanting, notice how your heart expands and then focus on your crown and notice what you feel there. So keep switching your focus if you're not able to focus on both at the same time. And notice the difference. Umita, uh, this, uh, I have the sense, I have a sensation on this Ajna Chakra. Uh, uh, my Ajna Chakra is get. Uh, and after this, during this meditation, and even after this, I'm feeling sensations over here. Yeah, your Ajna is opening. That's why it is like you're experiencing different kinds of sensations. And the piece Can we do it uh, more than, more yeah, than yeah, seven can... times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven is like the minimum. And when you don't have time, just do it seven times. But you can do it longer. You can do it as long as you want. I have a, I have a question. Yeah. Is there any guidance on any particular frequency or tone that would be beneficial to do this in? Not that I it know hurts. of in for yeah. this one. But I know for the heart chakra. So for the heart chakra, I'm going to talk about how can you find that specific frequency, which is unique to you. Yeah. This yeah. is like more of a general tone. At least that's what I know. I don't know if there are any variations. You can you can actually channel it. You can ask. You can mm. ask in automatic writing and see if something new comes up. Mm. That's a good mm. question, actually. You might receive some notifications. I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, I would also love to know. That's how I also get to learn those things. All right, folks. I think we are way before time. And I will... All right. Thank you so much. I'll see yeah, you thank you. And the beauty yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. The beauty of listening to this again in the future is that kind of vicariously we're still going to be having the collective energy so which yeah. is powerful mm. yeah thank you for putting this together mamita thank you thank you thank you, thank you for co-creating this reality namaste namaste <laughs> namaste <laughs> <laughs>